good morning, it's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday trading from the 28th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Sigma, Sigma's market updates and leading providers at www.tradesigma.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, Asian markets, first and foremost, overnight we have uh, a mixed session. Uh, the uh, Nikkei is certainly higher overnight on the back of uh, USDJPY stabilizing at 1%, whilst the Shanghai certainly turns south down 0.4%. Now, that certainly isn't um, a confidence vote for the uh, US equity market rally. It generally shows that there was more of a short squeeze led by Snap, given the fact that uh, the underwriters, given the fact that they're now underwater, have uh, issued buy ratings and triggered a potential short squeeze in Snap, which obviously led the rest of the sector higher as well. Also, with regards to talk about uh, uh, Mr. Trump uh, pushing through the um, pushing through uh, tax and stimulus uh, potential uh, potentially through Congress again, that certainly is going to help. Hang on one second. One second. I think I need to adjust the sound. Uh, recording devices properties. Levels, look how low that level is. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's better now. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me now. Okay, thank God. Okay, so yes, uh, it's basically what I was re referring to there is uh, Asian markets mixed with the Nikkei higher, whilst the Shanghai down 0.4%. Certainly a negative sign, but in my book, in terms of analysis. Okay, we have concerns with regards to Trump's reflation trade now running out of steam and potentially reversing. Okay, uh, this morning we have uh, rhetoric again with regards to the ECB, uh, hawkish rhetoric once again. Uh, we have two potential hawks, okay, Germany's representatives on its main policy making body, Jens Weidmann and uh, Sabine Lawson Schlager urged it to prepare to wind down its aggressive stimulus policy, stimulus policy as soon as economic conditions obviously allow it, which obviously is now. Okay, so certainly a mixed message overnight, no real confidence in terms of the US equity market rally that was led by SNAP in terms of its potential short squeeze. Okay, now in terms of economic data this morning, we've had uh, economic data out from uh, Italy, certainly negative uh, in terms of uh, growth and potential going forward. We have industrial orders down, we have industrial sales down as well. So that stronger euro and hawkish ECB certainly is hurting the potential growth opportunity. So bear that in mind. Also, we've had a rally in oil on the back of Iranian comments, uh, just basically alluding to a potential extension in OPEC cuts. Certainly has triggered a short squeeze in oil, and that certainly is helping uh, the uh, equity market as well. Also, rallying copper as well from the pivot low of 255 to 262. So again, looking at resistance now, certainly looking uh, top heavy. Uh, in terms of economic data and the news flow for the rest of the day, you have good trade balance. We have S&P K Schiller home price, consumer confidence, and uh, Richmond Fed. Then we have Fed, Fed uh, speakers, George, Yellen, Kaplan and Powell speaking later on and then obviously we have the API crude data as well so should get interesting later on in the afternoon so US equities certainly pushed higher certainly have short squeeze higher let's just look at US equities first and foremost S&P 500 remains lower lows lower highs S&P certainly into resistance uh, given the fact that it's retraced back into that Fib 61% and therefore looking to expect it to uh, move lower in terms of the Nasdaq okay so Nasdaq certainly double topped around this uh, 5380 zone so looking for resistance at this 5380. Again, you've had a lower low. Now we're looking for a lower high. Okay, from my understanding, and certainly looking to potentially move lower. Certainly looking for weakness regardless. Okay, uh, the bear flag formation still exists and still remains. So bear that in mind. You're looking at a potential flush here on the Nasdaq. Uh, and again, a bearish pattern certainly uh, exists. So one can't ignore that pattern, okay, in terms of that bear flag. Unless that green candle is negated, so we trade above 5430, the bears remain in control until for now. You have this left shoulder here, obviously you've got the head, uh, classical HNS formation on the uh, on the actual NASDAQ itself. So again, if we uh, use the pivot high of 5430, down to the neckline at 5330, you're looking at 5230 drop, okay, so down to 5200 on the NASDAQ, okay, given the fact that the Trump reflation trade certainly has run out of hot air, okay. Uh, now, and given the fact that we know that the US market setup is bearish and therefore bias will obviously turn bearish, therefore one would then presume that US or US, we say European equities should certainly be a negative as well. Okay, so let's start off with the German DAX. DAX, a daily chart at the moment has closed a gap, 
close the gap at 12060 again looking for resistance there 60 minute chart at the moment you are now into that resistance at 12080 with an unfilled gap left behind okay so again looking for weakness 10 minute chart unfilled gap at uh, 11997 11990 zone looking to potentially close so and given the fact that DAX is into resistance, certainly looking for risk aversion to uh, kick in here, okay? Looking at the French CAC now, let's go to the French CAC. Uh, it's a bit of a mess, the 10-minute chart, ignore that, okay? A uh, daily chart really back into that uh, consolidation phase, consolidation area, back into resistance at that uh, key 5030 zone, okay? 60-minute chart on the French CAC. Let's just uh, clean this up here, okay? So you have gap fill here. Gap has closed at 5030, now looking to potentially flush lower. Uh, whether or not we're carving out a HS formation again is yet to be seen. Okay, so are we carving something out here? We don't know. Okay, use your fib high, take it to the fib low. Okay, you're still in that fib 75%. Therefore, looking for a move lower. That's my understanding. 10-minute chart needs cleaning up here as well. Okay, let's just clean this up. Okay, you certainly earlier on, we started off with a gap higher at 5.030. We flushed very powerfully. Okay, back back lower. 10-minute chart, from my understanding here at the moment, has this H&S formation. Okay, right shoulder here, then looking to flush. Uh, looking to potentially uh, test the support below at 4.990. So bias, from my understanding, my bias certainly would remain bearish here. Looking at the right shoulder, long as we stay below that fib 50 to 61 percent, looking to flush that down to 4990. So the gap has been closed. So no magnet really for price action to be attracted higher now. Looking for it to flush. Okay, that's my understanding. Given the fact that U.S. equities are into resistance now, the FTSE 100 initially started off well. I'll give on the back of Iranian comments. Uh, on the back of US markets, obviously rallying as well. We certainly faded. Bear in mind, you do have a HS formation with a target of 7150 here. Okay, so watch out for the HS. 60 minute chart, you have a bear flag formation. Previous support equals resistance at 7305. Watch out for that zone. You have a bear flag formation here as well. Consolidation within the red candle. And then looking to flush lowered back down to uh, potentially uh, 7260, 7240, and then you have 71. 90 as well so watch out below that's all i can say with regards to the FTSE at present okay 10 minute chart on the FTSE really it does hinge a lot on oil if we can get some sort of agreement and we can get a sustained rally in oil then yes you are going to see a FTSE higher uh, but for now again given the fact that we are very close to uh, the brexit trigger as well the uncertainty surrounding that we have sterling certainly at the lofty heights if i go move up to uh, if i bring up a chart of sterling you can see here 1.26 now Sterling certainly hurting sentiment. A stronger sterling is negative for the FTSE. Just bear that in mind. Uh, daily chart of sterling at the moment is now now is holding resistance. Okay, holding resistance around the 1.26 level. A base certainly seems to have been built with a higher low. Okay, again a stronger sterling hurts the FTSE 100. So bear that in mind. Okay, last but not least, euro stocks. Euro stocks. This is an index that I'm actually short now, given the fact that we've closed the gap. Above at 3452, looking for a flush lower. Again, same type of HS formation on the Euro stocks as well. Looking for this right shoulder to hold and looking for that flush. Okay, please be sure to visit uh, CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus and visit Trade Signaler. Uh, signals and market updates from leading providers and certainly be sure to download the app on the Google um, Play Store and the Apple App Store. Goodbye now.